In this video, we're going to be talking about percent equations. Here's a typical percent statement. 15 is 25% of 60. And notice there are three numbers involved, and that's why there are three types of questions you may encounter. The first type is where the first number is missing, and it would read something like this. What is 25% of 60? The second type is where the percent is missing, and it would read something like this. 15 is what percent of 60? And the third type is where the third number is missing, that is the word, the number after the word of, and it would read something like this. 15 is 25% of what number? And there are a couple different ways to solve these percent equations, but I'm going to show you my favorite method, and that is to use an equation, to set up an equation to solve each one. And, and in that system, we use an equal sign for the word of, or for the word is, and a time sign for the word of. And so I've set these up already, and notice that where, the, where we have the question mark, that is where it, where it would say what is, I'm using a variable, that's the unknown. So I'm, I'm choosing to use the variable n, and you can use x or whatever variable you want, but I'm going to use n. And notice that where the word is is located, I'm replacing that with equals. So we have n equals, and notice I've converted 25% to 0.25. We need to convert the percents to a decimal. And for the word of, I'm using times, because in math, of means times. And so we simply need to multiply. This is the simple type. And 0.25 times 60 is 15. So that one's pretty simple. Now let's look at the second type. 15, I replace the word is with equals, so now I have 15 equals, and where the unknown value is, I'm using the variable n, and for of, I have times. So here we have an equation, 15 equals n times 60, and in order to solve that, I would need to divide both sides by 60. <coughs> and, <coughs> excuse me, and if I divide both sides by 60, the 60 cancels on this side, and I'm left with n equals 0.25. Now, on this second type, where they ask you for a percent, we need to convert that back to a percent. So 0.25 is 25%. We simply move the decimal point two places back to the right, and then we have 25% in this case. On the third type, I've replaced the word is with equals, point, or 25% with 0.25, and of means times. So I have 0.25 times n, and I can, write, I can just write that as 0.25n. To solve it, we just divide both sides by 0.25, and that will isolate the variable. Pardon my writing, 0.25. Okay. 0.25 cancels on the second side, leaving us with n equals, and if you take 15 divided by 0.25, you'll get 60. And if you want, you can try that on a calculator. And those are the three types of percent equations, and that's my favorite method of solving them. Just remember, the word is means equals, and the word of means times. And don't forget to convert your percents to decimals when you're working these problems out. And on the second type, don't forget to convert those back to percentages. And I hope this has helped you to solve, to understand percent equations.